All right, so let's practice solving some problems involving vision correction, right? So either correcting nearsightedness, which is called myopia, or farsightedness, which is called hyperopia. And so for all of these, right, we've talked about this already, but you need to remember we're just using Lensmaker's equation, right? But your image distance and your object distance are always going to be the same thing. All right, so the image distance is always going to be a virtual image that shows up at the person's incorrect near point or far point, right? So like a nearsighted person, their far point is going to be really close. That's going to be your image, uh, your virtual image distance, right? And so remember, because it's virtual, that number is going to be negative. SO is always going to be the object location for a normal eye, right? So if we want to see something that's far away, the object location is going to be at infinity because that's the thing we want to see. We need to take that object and make an image of it at that person's point. So here's the first problem, right? So you can go ahead and read it. So we need to calculate the power of a normal eye at the greatest distance and the closest distance that you can see, right? So this is just like normal everyday eye. So let's just go use our power equation, right? So if you remember, we're basically just saying power is, power is the reciprocal of the focal length, right? And that's equal to SI to the minus one plus SO to the minus one, right? So when we use power, we're basically skipping calculating focal length. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve that for the greatest distance and the least distance. Okay, so let's look at what I did here. For the greatest thing you can see, right, the furthest away, we're going to be looking at something at infinity, right? So my object is going to be located at infinity. My image distance for a normal eye, remember, we're using the distance from the lens to the retina. And so for a normal eye, that's two centimeters, or that's 0 0.02 meters, right? Almost messed that up. <laughs> so my image distance is 0 0.02 to the minus one, right? Remember, because I'm in diopters, I need to be in base units, which is meters. So 0 0.02 to the minus one plus infinity to the minus one. Well, if you take the reciprocal of infinity, right? I do one over infinity, that's going to be a really, like, infinity is infinitely huge, so 1 over infinity is going to be, like, infinitely small, which is 0, right? So 0 0.02 to the minus 1 plus 0 just gives me the reciprocal of 0.02, and that comes out to 50. So your eye, looking at the greatest thing when it's fully relaxed, the power is 50 diopters. And then for the least one, now for the least, uh, the least distance that I can see, Normal people see it 25 centimeters away, right? So I'm going to put the object at 25 centimeters or 0.25 meters. And then my image distance is again going to be 0.02 because what's happening if I put something here, it's creating an image on the back of my eye, right? So that's my image distance and that's my object distance. And if I solve that, it's just 0.02 to the minus 1 plus 0.25 to the minus 1 and that gives me 54 diopters. So that's the power range of a normal eye. Okay, so here's the second problem, right? So I'm going to tell you right now, this is me. I am myopic person in this problem. My prescription for my contacts before I had laser surgery, which, by the way, laser surgery, best money I ever spent, right? Before I had it done, my prescription was negative 8.1 in my worst eye. The other eye was like negative 8, right? So the question is, I want to know what my far point is if I know my prescription is negative 8.1, okay? So I'm using the same equation, right? So power is the image distance reciprocal plus the object distance reciprocal, right? So I need to rearrange this and solve for my far point. And so when we're deciding what SI and what SO are, right? SI is going to be the virtual image that I see at my messed up point, which in my case for a nearsighted person is going to be my far point. And then SO is going to be the object at the location that I should be able to see, right? So in this case, if I want to know where my far point is, I'm solving for SI. All right, so SI is what I'm solving for because that's going to be the image at my far point, right? And then SO is going to be infinity because if I'm looking at something far away, it's basically at infinity. So I plug in and solve, right? Remember, this number is going to be negative because I subtract it over. So negative 8.1 minus infinity, the reciprocal of infinity, uh, which is zero, right? Take the reciprocal. So it just comes out to doing the reciprocal of negative 8.1, and that gives you 12.35 centimeters. So before I had surgery, the closest thing I could see was about that far away, right? So I had to get things this close just to be able to make them out. And I remember my near point was a lot closer. I could look at things like right up on my face, right? But that's how you can figure out where your far point or your near point is. Okay, here's the third problem, right? So now this one involves a kid with hyperopia, 
right? So this is a student who's farsighted. They have a near point of 140 centimeters, right? So this person, instead of your eye range looking like this, this person's eye range maybe looks something like this. So their far point is okay, but their near one is at 1.40 meters, right? So 140 centimeters, it's got to turn into meters so I can use diopters. So again, same problem. Let's set it up and solve. All right, so in this case, my image distance, right? Image distance is at my near point or far point. I said that this kid's far point is 1.40, right? So 1.40 negative is gonna be my image distance. Negative because remember, glasses create a virtual image for you to see, okay? So my object distance is 25 centimeters, right? Because that's where a normal eye would be located at. So plugging these in and solving, I get 3.29 diopters, right? So does this make sense? Yes, it makes sense because it has a power that's positive, right? So remember, positive power is a converging lens. And converging lenses are used to fix farsightedness. If you remember negative powers, right? So the example before my eye was negative 8.1. Negative powers are diverging lenses. And diverging lenses are used to fix people that are nearsighted. Okay, so that's another way you can check yourself. If you know somebody's farsighted, farsighted people need converging lenses to fix it. Converging lenses are positive. Okay, so here's the next problem, right? So this one is one with a kid with myopia, and myopia is nearsightedness, right? So this person has a far point of 30 centimeters, right? So maybe this kid's vision range looks like this, right? They got a closer near point, but their far point is only at 30 centimeters, right? That's not as terrible as me, but it's still pretty bad. So we want to figure out what power of lens to fix this, okay, right? So if this kid wants to see something far away at infinity, we need to create an image at 30 centimeters so that they can see it, right? So again, let's just use our equation. Okay, so the power should be negative 3.33 diopters. So negative 30 centimeters because my image here, remember I'm making a virtual image. Again, I can't tell you that enough. That's the mistake a lot of people make. That number has to be negative because it's a virtual image that you're seeing. Negative 30 centimeters, I used 0.3 because I need to be in meters to use diopters, right? So 0.3 plus infinity. Infinity is my object distance because that's the thing I want to see, right? And so when you plug that in and solve, I get negative 3.33 diopters. So again, check your answer. Does it make sense, right? Well, I know that Nearsighted people need diverging lenses to fix it, right? Diverging lenses have negative power, so I'm all good. Okay, so here's the next problem, right? So this one, you have a nearsighted person, right? And it gives you their range. So it says that they can see between 16 and 25 centimeters. All right, but the other thing this throws in is this throws in that the lens is gonna sit two centimeters off the eye. So here's gonna be my diverging lens, right? Because I know this is a nearsighted person, they need a diverging lens that's two centimeters away from the eye. So that means that when I go look at something, this distance right here from the 25 centimeters where I need their image to show up to the lens, that's not 25, that's 23, because 25 is the distance to the eye, right? You gotta be careful if it tells you, and if you become an optometrist, right? Like, you know, what are the odds of that? But whatever, if you wanna be an optometrist, you can't just randomly put people's uh, glasses together by measuring from the eye because the glasses sit off the eye, right? So you have to take into account how far this person's glasses are gonna sit off their eye to calculate and figure out where their glasses, what power their glasses need to have, okay? So this is a problem just taking that into account. So now that I know that this is my real distance and not that, it's just like any other problem. Right, so my image distance is 23 centimeters, the distance from their point, right, which is 25 centimeters from their eye, that's their far point, but the glasses are gonna sit two centimeters off, so it's 23, right, point 23, because they gotta be in meters, negative, because it's a virtual image, and I'm trying to fix the far point, and so normal far points are infinity, plug in, solve, negative 4.35 diopters. Does it make sense, right? Ask yourself that. Well, yes, because like before, negative numbers mean diverging lenses. Okay, this last problem is a two-part problem, right? So this one involves bifocals, right? Ooh, old people wearing bifocals. That's not just for old people, but I don't know. When I think bifocals, I think old people. So this person can clearly see between 30 centimeters and 1.4 meters. So their far point is 1.4 meters and their near point is 30 centimeters, right? So in this case, if you need bifocals, man, 
you're all messed up. Or I mean, maybe you're just old, right? So your near point is not close enough and your far point is too close. So we've got to fix both nearsighted and farsightedness, okay? But that's not a problem because it's easy. So let's start with fixing the power of the distant objects. So we want to fix distant objects. That means let's fix the nearsighted part. All right, so I get negative 0.714 diopters. So I had to plug in negative 1.4 for the person's image distance, right? And the object distance is going to be infinity because I'm trying to fix nearsightedness, right? So ask yourself, always ask yourself, does this make sense? Well, it makes sense because I'm trying to fix nearsightedness, so I have a negative number, right? So I had to move that person's far stuff to their close far point. Okay, so let's go fix the farsightedness now. So the next problem says the lower portion of the bifocals she should be able to see things comfortably at 25, right? So she can only see at 30. She uh, needs to see at 25. So let's fix that. So there's the far-sighted part. So the lower part needs to have a power of 0.667 diopters, which isn't that terrible, right? So her near point should be at 25, but it's only at 30, right? So it's a small prescription. But does it make sense? Again, Yes, it makes sense because I was fixing farsightedness, I got a positive power. Okay, so the thing to remember with all of these when you're using this equation, SI and SO are going to be the image distance or the object distance, but SI is always the virtual image at their near point or far point. The object distance is the location for normal people, so your only options for object distance are going to be infinity or 25 centimeters. And then always remember, image distance needs to be negative because glasses create a virtual image for you to see.